Centennial Airport is now the first in the state to offer unleaded aviation gas, but residents say it isn't enough to address their concerns. They'd like to see more. For more perspective, according to the Federal Aviation Administration, the most common type of aviation gas used in smaller aircrafts is 100 octane low lead. The FAA says this aviation gas is the only transportation fuel in the U.S. to contain lead, raising concerns it could be harming people's health. Karen Morfitt is live outside the Centennial Airport for us tonight. And Karen, this is a big move for the airport, but community members tell you in their minds it's only a small step. Yeah, well, Michael, the industry right now is pushing to remove all leaded aviation gas by the year 2030. Centennial taking this step to offer an unleaded option is a big step for the airport. But community members say right now they want now they want to see a mandate that pilots have to use it. Centennial Airport now offers an unleaded fuel to pilots, a move that community members say came after a long fight. So congratulations go to us. Small propeller planes largely used by flight schools run on a fuel with low lead. While the impacts of the aviation gas continue to be evaluated by the EPA, impacts of lead on health have long been a concern. Well, we got a lot of feedback from the community about their concerns over lead emissions, and we want to be leaders in that role. Airport CEO Mike Fraunapel says aircraft owners will have to get certified and not all airplanes can use it, but they are pushing its use. We're actually subsidizing the retail cost of the unleaded fuel to match the retail cost of leaded fuel. Community members like Audra Dobler say without a mandate, they worry the use will be minimal. But there's not any mandates in place banning the leaded fuel. Um, they're still going to carry the leaded fuel. We're not going to know who's going to use the leaded fuel or the unleaded fuel. Already, the Aspen Flight Club has committed to making the transition. And it also it allows us to stay in front on the leading edge of processes and technologies. For the community, many who continue to fight increased traffic, that is increased noise and lead distribution, say it's a small step. It solves just probably a small fraction of the reason why we're here. Now, airport officials say nearly 20% of all of the eligible aircraft here at Centennial Airport now have the certificate to use that unleaded fuel. In Centennial, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.